listening to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. Well, bless my soul, but what's this wrong? is Where You Live with Gene and Tony. We're broadcasting from the Concierge Landscape Studios. We're brought to you by Extreme Exteriors. Let's hear from the Community Associations Institute. The CAI Minute is brought to you by Start to Finish Maintenance Contractors. Start to Finish provides 24-hour service for all of your home and business maintenance needs. Call Start to Finish at 952-259-1219. That's 952-259-1219 for your home, for your business, for your peace of mind. Are you a member of the Community Associations Institute? For nearly 40 years, CAI has provided education and resources to volunteer homeowners who govern community associations and the professionals who support them. Visit caionline.org to learn more. The address again is caionline.org. CAI helps community associations board members by providing online resources, in-person training, and hard copy publications written by association management experts. CAI offers community managers professional development, networking opportunities, and a certification program that is established as the industry standard nationwide. Minnesota has its own chapter of the Community Associations Institute to bring resources and tools from community associations around the country right to your home. Visit www.cai-mn.com to learn more and become a member of CAI today. Your community and management company will benefit from your involvement. Join the Community Associations Institute today at cai-mn.com and click on Membership. Well, Gene, here we are at the last segment yes, this week. It goes by quick. It sure did. It was a very fun program today. What's our What's our last story? Okay. Uh, it is entitled Neighbors Pitted Against Neighbors in Subdivision Fight. And if there's a story that uh, so quintessentially uh, seems to describe the way uh, some people would have you believe uh, <laughs> HOAs are all the time, it is this. It yeah. begins, this comes from a uh, small... Uh, a small town newspaper called the Weatherford Democrat. Okay. It, just a side note, I think I've talked to you about this before, but you know, a lot of uh, newspapers identified themselves as Democrat or Republican. Oh, okay. And uh, people might remember that with uh, with newspapers a long time ago mm-hmm. because the newspaper thought it was important for them to let their readers know their perspective to that they were coming their, from. their politics. Interesting. So, yeah, so in a lot of little uh, small-town newspapers, you'll see an elephant or you'll see a uh, donkey. Okay. And that's the reason why. Okay. So the Weatherford Democrat. It looks like this is Texas, too. Texas, Parker yeah. County. And uh, it begins talking about a bucolic little place <laughs> uh, located in the far east uh, Parker County uh, off of White Settlement Road. Uh, Driving through the sprawling hill neighborhood established around the mid-70s, it appears quiet and well-kept. Several neighbors wave as they pass each other on the road. Most of the 215 to 220 families own larger brick homes on several acres. Many homes have a suburban feel with a smaller acreage and neatly trimmed yard and shrubbery. Other properties, on the other hand, have large plots, plenty of vegetation and trees, creeks and hills hiding much more of the home. The subdivision has three recreation areas, including a marked wooded trail. Uh, Residents have lived there since the mid-1980s, while others are more recent additions. Uh, Not too long ago, several months ago, uh, one uh, home and one family had their home burnt down Neighbors rallied around to support them. Hmm. But after a a feuding, some neighbors don't seem to speak to each other anymore. (laughs) The neighborhood is not as peaceful as it appears. Uh, Yes, and it it goes on uh, in how over the the last few years there have been 10 lawsuits that have been filled in uh, the Justice of the Peace uh, peace court or district court uh, during just the last uh, three years involving this association called the Remuda Ranch Homeowners Association. Wow. And it all can, uh, and uh, not only that, it also says that there is also other issues that have been brought before the county commissioner's court for decisions 
all of this to one gentleman by the name of Jack Cavanaugh. Yeah, you mentioned that in the tease. The, tie, the, the headline is that neighbors are pitted against neighbors. But as you read this very long article, you learn that almost every single issue boils down yeah. to one person. And, and I try to and I try to read to try and uh, get things synthesized. Tell me if this <laughs> doesn't do it for you. It said fighting started in the 1990s. Issues began, according to Kavanaugh and the current HOA president. Now, J- Kavanaugh is the, the homeowner. Yeah, that uh-huh. that seems to be involved with these issues. And uh, Mr. Stewart, Tom Stewart, is the board uh, president. Okay. Um, issues they, began uh, when they both moved in in the nineteen <laughs> mid nineties. It said uh, Kavanaugh said the HOA won't enforce the restrict deed restrictions despite he his requests. All right. So the next sentence says so he took matters into his own hands, uh. and I tell you that is where things go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> and and it and, and it does in a homeowners yeah, association. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, when some one individual says, "I no longer am going to go through that process yeah. of uh, going to the board. I'm not going to go through the process of trying to see what my other neighbors think because I don't care. I take matters in my own hands, right. and that's where the breakdown is. Yeah, it, yeah. He he's he he claims. The HOA isn't enforcing deed restrictions despite his requests. Well, you know, is are his requests really in line with deed restrictions? Is he allowing time for the process yeah. to take place? Is he allowing time for the HOA to examine and I, study I, the I, issue? I, 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 I like those last two questions you asked. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. has has a, a person allowed a sufficient time to take place? Sometimes people are in such a hurry. Yeah. That, that, you know, they say, no, the association's got to do it now. Yeah, now, that's right. Now, that's now. Right. We're, we're not going to wait. And yet, if the association treated that person in a high-handed and 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 too rapid oh manner, they would they would be very upset. Yeah. Now, in this particular case, uh, uh, this Mr. Kavanaugh feels uh, uh, justified, and I think uh, he, um, he feels that... Uh, that he's on the side of right, of right. Uh-huh. because in a couple of these cases, for example, it says uh, when the association didn't take care of uh, one deed restriction, he called the health department, mm-hmm. the environmental protection agency, and they ended up in a, a particular issue ruling in his favor. That's right. So now he says, yep, see, I told well, you so. it says the e- issue was taken care of. And later, this this neighbor he had a dispute with moved out. Yeah, and in that particular case, it was about uh, you know sewage, dump, yeah. dumping sewage in, tr- in trash. Now, even though the person was not uh, was uh, not supposed to do what what they were doing, mm-hmm. um, Mister Mister Kavanaugh just continues to push things. Well, and, I, and it says here, so he got he he had a decision in his favor. Yep. So all right, end of story, right? But then you find out. That Kavanaugh has then gone forward to make ten to fifteen more complaints yes. against neighbors in the HOA. So and, it starts to look like the common denominator yeah. in all the issues is Mr. Kavanaugh. Yes, it is. And th- I'm, I guess, I want to clarify and say that I don't necessarily think that what he's asking for is wrong. There you go. Yeah, but that's I, right. But uh, I think that there uh, should be called for some diplomacy mm-hmm. some uh a uh, mm-hmm. matter of protocol that that you Going follow through, through the process that's right well what i found interesting is now after hearing about these 10 to 15 complaints and and lawsuits it always ends up in a lawsuit yes later in the story it says that one of the issues that the association had with mr Kavanaugh was his violations of the firearm controls in the association then it started seemed to me like things Really went a little haywire here. For now, we're talking about armed. Yes, armed uh, b- because uh, Mr. Kavanaugh had a shooting range in the back of his property, <laughs> and uh, he um, and so he was uh, he was uh, upset that he wasn't allowed to just uh, shoot his guns. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when you're in an area close to other folks, um, I don't know one area that doesn't yeah. have firearm yeah. restrictions. Of course, because uh, you can't just uh, point and just say, "Well, it's your so fault." So Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh's starting to look like quite a character. 
to me. Yes, yeah. yes, he is. And uh, the the thing that uh, caught my attention with this story more than anything else is, uh, and of course, some of these things are certainly things that need to be addressed. I mean, if someone's uh, discharging a firearm uh, and uh, you know you are living within just a uh, uh, hundred yards or or a couple hundred yards from yeah. another neighbor, I think that's too close to have uh, yeah. uh, a, a firing range. If someone's having an issue with uh, dumping sewage, yes, that needs to be, you, you need to call that's someone right. out, and uh, perhaps calling the, the uh, environmental protection was the, the right way to go. But it seems like there is a uh, certain bent that he has on pushing that all the time. Yeah. And you need to also ask yourself when you live anywhere with neighbors uh just because you're in the right doesn't mean you should you should move forward or or move forward on a bulldozer yeah and 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 uh, yeah it it seems very very heavy-handed the way he approaches these issues it's hard to even listen to whether or not he has a a reasonable complaint or not yeah because he's coming on so strong well there's so much here that this could be a case study in in and of itself (laughs) and one we may take up uh, next week here on where you live but uh, by the looks on the clock on the wall it is time to go folks thanks for uh, being with us again today we look forward to having you with us next sunday right here on where you live with gene and tony see you next week